Eyes Mr. Newmobile here. We have shocking news about the Apple iPhone 12 and a new hands-on video. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. To have plenty more leaks about the upcoming Apple iPhone 12, including new hands-on footage news is that the display might not be what we expected and will report to suggest we could be seeing some delays before get started though please like the video. If you're a fan of Apple iPhones. Let me know in the comments. What version of the iPhone 12 you're looking forward to the most now sadly, the first bit of information today is about the 120Hz promotion display on the iPhone 12. We've been advised by many leakers that the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max becoming with the promotion of 120Hz display Roshan tweeted a couple of days ago to say that this isn't going to be the case and Apple will be providing it until 2021. He previously stated that Apple wouldn't implement the 120Hz into the iPhone 12 because it can wait and has been incorrect with a few things now we have to change a few of his leaks already, so hopefully he is wrong again. Of course it's not going to be long until we find out and I'll update you guys if we hear anything more. Next up we have news of more iPhone 12 delays in the report, suggests they could be anywhere from 4 weeks to 2 months behind schedule. This doesn't mean this definitely can be a delay in the long-term release of the iPhone 12 means Apple do have some catching up to do in order to make up for lost time. So not great news for those of you that are impatient, but hopefully they do speed up the progress and release on time. Finally, we had a hands-on video of the iPhone 12 a pair from YouTuber Asked. Unfortunately though it appeared they were just models. These models also seem to be inaccurate and accompanied by some false information shows three models created for the Apple iPhone 12 and advised that wouldn't be one-fourth. Now I think he simply had some confusion here because there are really three sizes of the iPhone 12, but there will of course be four different versions. The iPhone 12 Max and the iPhone 12 Pro both can be the same size. It coming in with a sick of provided information that points to the two smaller models having a dual camera. The two more premium having a triple camera setup along with the additional lighter sensor and of course we can say is wrong because nothing is confirmed until it comes from Apple themselves, but my advice would be to ignore for now. If the models have come from a case manufacturer that they may only get sizes of the rectangular module and not the specific lens layout, and it also looks as if it may have been based on the same early prototype, had the resort from Mac Attacker a few months back for those who do want the detailed specs of what we'll likely see for each model of the iPhone 12 looking around through the displays as well as the rest of the hardware, then hit subscribe now I'm going to get right into it. To start with the entry-level model of the Apple iPhone 12. And this of course can be called the iPhone 12 made absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but it's going to be an owner display at a resolution of 2340x1080, which gives us 475 pixels per inch, and has an 8-bit color depth, with a have been rumors of all models, having a 120Hz display. Unfortunately, this model is 60Hz. Only it can be equipped with 4GB of RAM, and a choice of 128 or 256, storage is made of an alum in your body, and of course, is the A14 Bionic with 5G support the iPhone 12 comes with a dual camera setup on the rear, and it will of course be shipping with iOS 14. For those of you that win the iPhone 12 with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 storage, can be launching at $649, if you want 4 gigs of RAM and 256 storage. It's 749 next up with the iPhone 12 Max to be clear that this is the Max and not the Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Max is a 6.1 inch only display this is again a Super Retina owner display provided by Chinese manufacturer Bo. It comes with a resolution of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and of course the iPhone 12 Max is powered by the A14 Bionic chip and an alum in your body. It's good 5G connectivity we get another dual camera set up on the ramp for those of you that will the 128GB version of the iPhone 12. Max can be launching at $749 for the 256GB version it rises to $849 next up the iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro has a 6.1x display, so it's actually the same size as the iPhone. 12 Max and improved display and specs on the iPhone 12 Pro report is 6.1 inch Super Retina display with promotion and a 10 bit color depth. The display is manufactured by Samsung and has got a resolution of 2532x1170, which gives us 460 pixels per inch, and it is, of course, a 120Hz display. The iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256, or even 512 internal storage of courtship with Apple's 814 Bionic their sensor. For the depth of the 128GB iPhone 12 Pro, it's launching at $999 for 256GB. It's $1099, and for those that were the 512GB iPhone 12 Pro, it's $1299. 
Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7-inch outlet display again. It's a Super Retina with Promotion 10-bit color depth, and of course it is manufactured by Samsung. Go to resolution of 2778x1284, giving us 458 pixels per inch, and again it's a 120Hz display. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128, 256 or 512 storage in the stainless steel body, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the A14 Bionic with 5G support, just like the iPhone 12 Pro get a triple camera set up on the rear of the additional lighter sensor. For those of you the one the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro Max is launching at $1,099 for the 256 conversion it's $1199. Of course there's plenty more information on the Apple iPhone 12, so can run through it all. Make sure you hit that subscribe, it expecting to get for new iPhone 12 in the range, which can be two different iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max were expecting Apple to increase the display sizes on the most premium models, with those who want a smaller display is still going have an option, reliable analyst Manchukuo is advised that this can be to iPhone 12 versions. The small iPhone 12 is can have a 5.4 inch display, the large one will have a 6.1 inch. We then get a 6.1 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro, the 6.7 inch display which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Unlike last year. However, the resolution will differ across the range 6.1 inches iPhone 12 will likely have a lower resolution than the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro. Well there are rumors of Apple removing the notch. I really can't see this happening in typical Apple fashion was still expecting a full screen display with the notch top center. It's too early for him display camera sensors, and I can see Apple going for a poncho. They also need a time of flight sensor on the front for the 3D face and lock, while Apple dictates a fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 10. The report of this can be coming back in the form of an in-display fingerprint scanner. There are reports suggesting that Apple also can be increasing their refresh rates on the latest displays, almost phones have set to 60Hz displays has been changing recently, and Apple is also going to be joining this trend at this stage, we don't know if they can be using 90Hz, 120Hz, or even a mixture of the two. Across the range when it comes to the rear of the device we're expecting a similar camera setup to last year. The more premium model will have more cameras, Manchukuo has again advised that both the iPhone 12 Pro flight cameras of 3D depth cameras and what Apple uses on the front for the 3D face and lock the time of flight sensors on the rear. However, use a slightly different technology that allows it to map 3D objects from further away. This significantly improves augmented reality applications that allow for more improved portrait style photo and video effects, will likely get to see slight upgrades on the other cameras of the iPhone. 12, but given the great performance of its predecessor. They will be changing things too many reports suggesting that the two more budget models again have a dual camera setup with the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max can have a court camera setup with the inclusion of the 3D data camera. The iPhone 12 is of course can be powered by the new 814 Bionic processor. This is actually manufactured using 5nm lithography, which will bring significant improvements. There's a good chance that it will be the first 5nm chipset to hit the market. When it comes around the iPhone 12 Pro Max is expected to come with 6 gigs of RAM with a standard iPhone 12 will only have 4, this is something that I think Apple out of memory is causing the consumer to pay for memory that they don't even need when it comes to storage or expecting a choice of 64, 256 or 512 gigs of internal storage for the first time ever, consumers felt Apple did a great job in prioritizing the battery life on the pre-disaster, so hopefully, that's something that's going to continue with the iPhone 12 autographing batteries is still out of the question. We can expect a 5.4 inches iPhone 12 to be around 2,800 million powers 6.1 inches is probably going to be around 3150. The 6.7 inch should contain a rent of 4,300 million power battery. One thing that is a little unknown at the moment is, of course, 5G connectivity Apple are very bad when it comes to 5G, thanks to earlier issues with Qualcomm to run toward this stage. If that's something we will see in the iPhone 12 is rumored that the iPhone 12 is can have 5G connectivity. There aren't actually any leaks or reports to back that up the iPhone 12 is can be IP68 water resistant. It's of course can ship with iOS 14 when it comes to the price people time they surprise us again with the iPhone, South Carolina, and now the iPhone 12 is going to be the same we'll be getting the base 5.4 inch iPhone 12, starting at $649. The iPhone 12 6.1 inches at 749, the iPhone 12 Pro 6.1 inch at 999, and finally the iPhone 12 Pro Max 6.7 inch phone $1,099, some very reasonable prices from Apple, who have clearly been focusing on keeping the cost down. 
of course, it's not all about specs, and we'll likely get to see some new software features or improvements to the current features in iOS 14. The iPhone 12 is set to launch in September. As always, it's always around the second week they release it, so we can expect to see the iPhone 12 range on either the 8th or 15th September and the iPhone 12 be released about 10 days. Afterward of course being so far away. These are leaks and rumors with more information comes to light. I'll be sharing with you guys straight away. As always, though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments there's waiting for the Apple iPhone 12 and if not that one piece out.